How a CFM 56-7B turbofan engine works. To make an aircraft move forwards, we need a pushing force or thrust, which we create by making the air accelerate between the front and the back of the engine. This is basically done by the large fan at the front of the engine, through which air passes at a high rate. These are the various components of the CFM 56-7B. The fan, which is a large diameter propeller. The low and high pressure compressors with 12 stages, which step by step, increase the pressure of the air as it flows through them. The combustion chamber, in which jet fuel is mixed with air and burned. The high and low pressure turbines, in which the pressure of the hot gas is reduced as they drive the compressors and fan. There are five turbine stages, one high pressure and four low pressure. And finally, the exhaust assembly. The CFM 56-7B is a high bypass ratio engine. The primary flow passes through the combustor, while the secondary flow passes only through the fan. 80% of the engine airflow, accelerated by the fan, is directed into the bypass duct and provides 80% of the engine's thrust. The primary flow passes in succession through the compressors, the combustor, and the turbines, before being ejected rearwards through the exhaust assembly. The air is compressed in the low and high pressure compressors, and its temperature can reach 450 degrees Celsius, after which it enters the combustor, where fuel is injected and ignited. Burning the mixture of fuel and air brings the temperature up to 1,700 degrees Celsius. Finally, the accumulated energy is extracted in the five turbine stages immediately after the combustion section. The pressure of the air drops as it passes through the turbines and makes them spin. And the turbines, whose shafts ride within one another concentrically, in turn drive the fan and the two compressors. The air is then expelled through the primary duct, joining the air from the fan stream. A turbofan is therefore a flow cycle engine. Air is compressed, then heated by burning fuel, after which it passes through the turbines which drive the compressors and the fan.